Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, I take a ride down here to the beach, give things a look, and uh, whew, it is chilly. Um, we had a little bit of snow here across New England yesterday. We had some my hometown here, Connecticut. Uh, it's it's here. Winter is upon us, but uh, hey, nonetheless, we still got plenty of fishing to go and around. There's a lot of action, fresh and salt, so let's jump right into it. We're going to start off this week with a video update from Tim Moore of Tim Moore Up Outdoors. Uh, he's basically, like a lot of us, starting to get ready to transition from the open water season to his ice guiding season. So let's check in with Tim and see what he's got going on. Thanks, Toby. Well, this year's open water guiding season is officially over for me. We put the boat away, finished up my uh, last trip on the 10th. We were fishing for crappie, spent most of the fall on Lake Winnipesaukee. And I have to say, this was without a doubt the best fishing for fall crappie that we have ever experienced uh, here in New Hampshire that I've ever experienced. I had some of my biggest uh, crappies that I've caught client personal bests numbers were up every the fishing was just absolutely incredible uh, it didn't seem like we could do anything wrong we would go there and fish and catch all day uh, we'd leave them biting most days so grateful for a, a really busy summer uh, and fall season thank you to everybody that came up and fished with us thank you for uh, for putting our reports on there but it ain't over it's not over for me uh, i still have kayaks to get in the water i might have put the boat away but I'll put my kayaks in the water until there's too much ice to get them in. Uh, so I've got another trip or two planned for some crappies and really want to get out on the coast on the ocean front here in New Hampshire because we catch a few tatog up here and nobody really targets them but they're get, they get caught. We catch them sea bass fishing and there's nobody out there fishing right now and I have a funny feeling that if I get in around some of those rock piles out there and poke around it. I may very well find some, so stay tuned next week because hopefully I'll have some some uh, re something to report on those. But anyways, it's been a great great summer and fall. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Toby, and uh, be safe out there. We'll see you on the next one. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Tim. Uh, really appreciate those videos this year. Uh, real happy to have some you know additional content coming in up in that New Hampshire region. So happy to have you on board. As always, be sure to give his YouTube channel, Tim Moore Outdoors, a, a look and his website. And uh, if you're gonna guide, a, get a if you want to get a guide, excuse me, up on Lake Winnipesaukee, be sure to let him know that you saw his videos here through the Fisherman Magazine. All right, moving on. Keep with some of the reader contributions. Got a phone call from uh, Fisherman subscriber Ziggy Chabinski last week. Um, he said he's a member of the Fort Point Channel Fishing Club up in Boston, Massachusetts. And he called in to let me know that smelt fishing is going pretty good right now. He said they're getting uh, between one and two dozen fish per angler per night. Um, now, smell fishing is something I have yet to do. I haven't had the opportunity to get up there and give it a shot. But from what I understand, talking to some of my contacts up in the area, Seems rather straightforward, simple. Uh, sabiki rigs or s small Swedish pimples, uh, basically just jigging. But the key is to tip them with something. Guys are using little bits of sandworm, little pieces of clam or squid. That seems to be the ultimate key. But I've been seeing some pretty good reports up there in that Boston Harbor area. I know last few years it's been iffy. This year, hey, one to two dozen fish on a night, not too bad. And moving along, uh, Mark Alamina checked in this week. Some real good blackfish reports in the Western Sound, Long Island Sound, that is, off of Norwalk. He said over the weekend he fished with Frank Pelicione as well as Frank uh, Span excuse me, Spadan Danuta. Sorry about that. Amid a mix of shorts and keepers, Mark landed a nice 7.4 pound blackfish, which he weighed in for the Fisherman Magazine's Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. What's even better is after he weighed it in, he released it. He kept the fish alive in his live well, weighed it, threw it back in, brought it back out in the water and let her go. That's something a lot of anglers are doing these days if they feel the need to weigh, or if they want to, excuse me, weigh in those bigger fish, especially things like the Fisherman Magazine Dream Boat Challenge. But Mark was not done. He went out on Monday. He had veteran Al Thomas out for the day. They boated eight keepers on the day. Obviously only contained the limit between them. And they caught and released another 40 plus fish. So an absolutely awesome day. And Mark said that the key was just small jigs with green crabs. So pretty straightforward and simple. 
And then let's see, switching gears to the freshwater fishing. Trout fishing has been really good and doing no small part to the extensive trout stocking programs that we've got here in New England. Um, it's been really good as always up on the Cape and Danny from the Goose Hummock Shop has been doing really well on rainbows as well as the browns. And he sent me a picture of this massive five pound brown that he got the other night. And you know, I've said it before and it, it, it you can never say it too much. Cape Cod is well known for its saltwater fishing, but honestly, Freshwater gives it a run for its money, and if not, at times it's even better. I mean, you got year-round angling up there on the Cape. You got browns, brown trout, rainbow trout. You got Atlantic salmon, uh, you know, uh, landlocked salmon, excuse me, in some of the lakes. You've got massive smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, a lot of everything up there. So if you want to get in on that freshwater fishing, and you're not sure where to start, obviously give our buddies over at Goose Hummock Shop a shout. They will point you in the right direction for sure. And then last but not least, as I noted, and as anyone who wants to step outside or look outside their window know, windows know, it's cold. I mean, I am here bundled up and I'm still a bit chilly for today's report, but timing was right for Fisherman Magazine, New England ad sales manager, Dale Nicholson, to take a little bit of extended weekend away. And he's there right now down in Port Charlotte, Florida. So he sent a little bit of a video to let us know what he found down in Florida this week. Thanks, Toby. Dale Nicholson here from the Fisherman Magazine. Folks, I'm in location in Port Charlotte, Florida. Beautiful day, tons of fish. Matter of fact, just got a sea trout right here. Dave Fredericks on the hook. Dean Pilati over here in the corner. He'll probably be next. We've caught so many fish. It's ridiculous. Ladyfish, grouper, Jack Traval, uh, sea trout, et cetera, et cetera. Pinfish. I could go on and on. I got Porpoises have been fishing with us. I got some. Uh, pelicans have been fishing with us. Dean's on right now. It's unbelievable, folks. Uh, if you get a chance to fish this area, come on down. It's incredible. Tight lines, everybody. Back to you, Tobe. Awesome, thanks a lot, Dale. I gotta say, I am jealous. It is cold up here. Seeing you in a t-shirt down there is, uh, well, it's rubbing in a little bit of salt into the wounds, but uh, nonetheless, thanks for the video update, and special thanks to Peter Cowell for shooting that video for us this week. And, all right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evan Rood, Lawrence Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.